Hi everyone, Rune Cloak here, and today I'm playing a Northern Realms Renfree deck. Um, this one has Erland, and the idea is to get maximum value out of Erland, and so I made a Priestess deck with it, because Priestess wants to thin to zero anyway, which means you can get all the boosts from Erland, and because it's a Renfree deck, every card in your deck is a unit already, so Erland gets max carryover. Um, essentially, unless you play some kind of Pavetta shenanigans. Um, but we're fighting another Pinsir Maneuver, so I'm not sure what else, who else is playing Pinsir Maneuver here. I know there's that 410 deck where it's Meter Generator and it has like some Tempervision guards, like some Geralt's and uh, like Onsace as well. Let's see, so we want to mulligan this. <laughs> so many bricks in the deck. Um, let's mulligan this, because we're going to use an order soon, which is nice to have in hand. I can like play this Ballista. So it would have been nice to draw Erland in my opening hand, but it's okay because I can just take, you know, I can use the leader charge to get Erland and play him second. This will also thin out, which is basically like playing the Sunset Wall. Interesting. Okay. Alright. Might as well play this front row in that case. Mm, although this will give it another turn to damage this, so let's play back row. Okay, decent timing, and then we'll use a leader charge to draw Erland at the start of our next turn, and we'll just play him right off the bat, and then he'll have 14 cards in deck to boost, which is pretty nice. So he kind of plays as like an 18, because we're going to play all those cards in some way or another. Interesting, okay. So we'll also shuffle this back, which can be nice. So let's see, we draw the Erland. We shuffle this Renfree. Although we can play this Renfree's Gang and just shuffle this. It's kind of the same thing though, so we might as well just play this. Shuffle that back. Let's see if we can start dealing with this Griffin Witcher. They can just kill this next turn though. But I'm also getting points, so it's just kind of fine. You now click the island just for carryover. And we're on red coin, so we don't need to worry too much about winning this round. But at the same time, getting thinning is nice. So look, so everything in here is boosted, and everything will be played. Which is just a nice hand, too, because you don't really want to play too many of your shuffling things round one. Like, you're drawing shuffling cards because your priestesses um, aren't as likely to be drawn. So, this is fine. So... Go for route of it with the next leader charge, but we'd rather not. You'd like to be able to shuffle back priestesses. So they just played some order cards here. We don't know if this is Renfree or Golden Necker or Shoop. No indication. Pins and Maneuver is interesting. Care to Ren. So they're playing some kind of Witcher stuff. Not sure what they do with this Black Rayla when they're not on blue coin. Okay. Again, don't click the island. I can play the Envoy next turn. I kind of play the worst cards right now because, I got, like I said, they're going to be played anyway. And I'd rather be played in a less impactful round. But you can just play this Siege Tower here and shuffle a little bit. Okay, this other one. So these cards I can't play in this round. You can play Renfrey's Gang though. Also, Sentry and Envoy. They're doing four points a turn. Just gonna kill Ar Erlen to make sure I can't use him, which is fine. I mean, he w I could click him for 13 points, but I'd rather not. <laughs> I also, also would like to hold on to my leader charge if I can help it. I mean, if I can win this round, that'd be super cool. Let's see if they're devotion. They're not gonna show us. It's so hostile. Might as well just use this here. Mm. Put the priestess on top. Let's see, I can get two points here, but two points. I can get two points next turn. They can't kill this exactly, so I might as well use the cooldown on this, or I could just hold this too. But they can kill this, so although they can kill this as well, so I might as well just use it now. Oh, and we get ahead. They also click their Kira Seren pretty immediately. Let's see. Okay, so this is a Devotion deck, which is kind of nice. So 
That means they won't have like shouldn't have super good top excuse me, tall punish. So I could just say I don't need the second tritum. Hmm. And just play it now. They are getting two points. So if I play the Tritum, I can get it I can win the round exactly with Run Freeze Gang. And then I can save this one to put in the deck with a priestess later. Kinda fine with that. So like I said, it doesn't matter going too tall. It shouldn't matter that much. Okay. On my fours. Mm -hmm. Not sure why they're playing Pinscher Maneuver. So I have two points here, then 12 here, so it's 14. I don't really have another card I'm happy to play though. I would like to win the round. Although Hubert's coming out in a minute too. So if I use a leader charge, Hubert comes out. Okay, I think I do I think I do this. So I pincer, Radovid. Put back this Tritum. Play the rat of it. Let's see. And then I think I leave this. So if I click it, Hubert comes out, and I don't want to come out just yet. Hmm, although I don't get to click this now, so I let Wanderers come out. Mm. Oh, I love Mad Kian. <laughs> Can do four damage. Oh my god, they get a kill Radovid. That's great. Kind of wanted to pass anyway. That's crazy. So this isn't Golden Ecker also. And now I just pass before the Wanderers comes out. These are gone. I actually have 26 points. But it's still not enough. Let's just leave it here. Let's pass. Leave Wanderers in hand. I was on red coin anyway. Alright, nice. This went pretty well. So we'll draw the Priestess. That's pretty decent. Thaler's also not too bad. Let's shuffle this. Double Mentor, I will. And a Mulligan. Hmm. Seems okay. I'd have to play Gang on the Dry Pass. So let's see, I have two bricks and one leader charge left. Although I do have these mentors. I could play a mentor on the Dry Pass as well. But I have to draw a Mulligan one now. Hmm, I think it's just fine. See if they want a long round, if they want to try to bleed. No, they just pass. Okay. So I can play the Mentor, but I lose two points playing it now. Although Run Free's Gang, I'd rather just play this now and save the 12 point play for round three. Let's see if I can get lucky. Not quite. Let's put this back. Alright, so they have last A. I've got a bunch of carryover going to the round. Need to be careful not to <laughs> not to mess up my thins. Mm -hmm. Okay, like this is a card I want to put back. All right, I'd rather put those back though. Okay, so Hebert will thin out in a turn. Renfrey's gang will thin out. I can lead her for Istrid. Reinforce Ballista. I'll have to figure out how to play. Oh, Thaler's going to draw a card too, so I'd like to Thaler after I 
get these bricks out. This is far to the left anyway, so I think I'll just play it here. play Thaler. Okay, they use their first leader charge. Well, I can kind of play Thaler after this Hubert comes out. But I'd like to play it after Snowdrop. Play <laughs> Secret Sing's all funny. It's alright though. Okay, they play a Defender. Okay, so they're trying to do some greedy stuff too. Just play the Siege Tower. It's an engine. It's in the right spot. This here it comes out, which is also nice. Okay, then I'll leave that leader charge before I play Ren Free. I think I play Ren Free soon, maybe get kindness. Ren Free also has two thin options, so if I get either Sloth or I think it's the blessing of like charity where you play the lowest provision card in your deck. Oh jeez, this is Bellahoon. Bella okay, they're going greedy. I don't really have answers. That's okay, I'm going greedy as well. Okay. So, let's see... Can maybe go for Istrid here? Hmm... I can just see... Oh, Istrid can't get that many cards at this point. So I should probably get Istrid as soon as possible. Maybe I put the Scriffin which our mentor back. And then play Estrid now. We didn't come here to build now Sense of Wanderers will be to the far right, and then I can... Mm. Okay. Do you have one other soldier? We just play Snowdrop here. Let's see, I can shuffle back these two. It should be able to just fix my hand kind of perfectly. Probably Thaler next, now that I have these two down. Though maybe... Hmm. Okay, let's see, if I play this... I'm gonna shuffle back to Thaler, right, potentially. If I play Thaler, I might as well click Istrid. But Istrid can fix my hand kind of perfectly, and I want to do it after the Sunset Wanderers goes by. So I can just play Thaler back row. Seems kind of fine. It's draw up too, so I'm not gonna over thin. They're not really doing anything too threatening, so this is a card I do want to put back. I guess it less. Why are they answering this? Closest thing they can answer? This is the last time I'll have control over what I play. I guess they could have answered Istrid here. It would have been that catastrophic. Okay, go for another event. Another Ranger. What's their second target on this? Hands of the Siege Tower. Two days 
sort of front row. What? Are they just going for points? Hmm. It's just gonna die anyway, it's fine. Okay, so I think we do this, this, it's pretty nice, and then we do, I don't need two cards here, but that's alright. I'd rather play this right now. It should can still die to her boiling oil, but they haven't done it yet. They seem to care about having boosted units. Hmm. Yeah, I guess I can just do this now. A lot of points have you played Ren for yet. It's fine. Play Mentor next. This is the finisher. So they have three charges. And this one is seven. On Sace. Probably should have saved the Ranger for that. Just boost some hit something really tall. Take this out. Not sure what they're trying to do with it. Might as well get more carryover. Bit of a shame we missed the priestess. This is just playing as a basically a six from its own points. Kind of low rolled on drawing the priestesses, but we're ahead by a bunch anyway. This snowdrop and sunset wander is a bit of a late engine. With Bellahoon it makes it easier. So I think they have just that pincer maneuver for consistency. Although I could get a good run free wrath off of this, so maybe I'd leave it. Or I'd just ping it once. Just play Priestess now. I think about. I can't really float it without on board. Let's see about this. Let's just see what I can get here. Greed. It's like a 9. Sloth. Don't want. Gluttony, I mean, I'm already tall. Gluttony's like a 9 as well, so I might as well just take Greed. Chastity's no good. Four points here. Temp we'll just take Temperance. We have some kind of low units. Hmm. Sans Ace is going to be pretty big. can kill this, so I can't really float it. Although I can float the other one, kind of. So I think we just do... Maybe we just play this now, actually. We might as well. Alright, we didn't get Wrath. Hit the Onsace once, which is nice. Probably just save this greed for the next turn anyway. <laughs> Up by a bunch here. This was kind of a solitaire kind of type of matchup. And that's what's nice about the Vernon Roach in a your opponent has to control is you get to play your priestess, try to move him a tree in one turn. For the people who don't haven't seen Priestess or it's been a while. This deck does play like the the old meta- oh, it's Cohen! Oh, Cohen on sixes. That's pretty greedy. It's a 15 point Cohen, essentially. <laughs> I, I pinged away some of them, that's funny. Alright, so let's play this. Greed. Just go for five points. Oh, I guess I can get six here. 
Although they could have like top punish, so don't need to go too much taller. It's not like they have a Yurden. So there we go. Alright, do you have <laughs> 47 points? <laughs> they have 3, plus this is like, I don't know what, like 8 or something? Oh, they have a Vernon too! <laughs> oh, it's a double royal guard. Oh, double royal guard, okay! Oh, that's funny, Bellhood boosts the Vernon. So that's negative 3. Oh, you know, that's pretty significant. Let's see, did they just go for the tallest unit? How does that work? B9, mm, doesn't seem worth it. I think they just hit like a, maybe the 15? No, not too far off. It's like, what, 20 points? <laughs> All right, GG. <laughs> Long round Bellahoon. Okay, okay. Right, I feel like Renfree Priestess is a deck I've seen like on and off over the last four months. But it's never one that's really gained traction. Probably thankfully so. I know Renfree and Priestess are cards that have both received a lot of dislike over the years. Mine's an Erlen version, you know, who who can be mad at Erlen? So we're on blue coin, we're up against Pirate's Cove. Veil's kinda nice to deal with like Poisons, exclusion, so we don't really want a long round against them. We really just do want to win round one, push round two. Let's see if we can draw Erlen naturally. Okay, we cannot. It's alright though. We also didn't draw any siege, siege Masters right away. Let's see, I don't necessarily want to open Ballistas. I can just play Radovid. It's probably the. Probably don't have a lot of ways to deal with them. Like, Pirate's Cove doesn't play locks. Six damage. I guess they have Junior for six damage. Unless my veiling this round. He's a card I can play soon, though. I could just kind of play along the line. Dollars are a card I'd rather play with, like, Snowdrop Istrid later. Might as well just do this, I think. Get extra sunset value. They do have ways to do 4 damage. Right, they have Professor. But also just like Shady Vendors, but they don't have any coins. So... Probably play this front row. Although I want to play Erlen next. So I think I mulligan this, actually. Or I mulligan this. Which makes a lot more sense. So we draw the Erlen. We put this back. Play the Ireland. Guess I could play this Blista first. Start pinging this in case they want to try to play into this round. In terms of pulling the strings, back row is better. Because I opened Run Freeze Guy, I'm not sure that they can really play this round. Can't pass at nine cards, of course. So I think I play Route of It, Erland. But we'll see what they do. Just play Inquisitor. So I think I play Route of It. Give him a Veil. And then they can't poison him, they can't junior him. And I can play Erland still and click the Route of It. Hubert still has a lot of time left. I guess I should have played him here for a Siege Tower pocket. Same row. Okay, alright, so not done. There we go. Extra four points right here. They're down seven, 16 points. They don't have any coins left. They've only played Fire Sworn. 
So just going for more carryover. So they still need another... Let's start at 28, they still need another 9 points here. Don't have a lot of cards I can still play. I'd like to use, use my leader charges on the priestesses. I did draw them both round one, which is nice. Let's see. I can play the Siege Tower and I'll still have two Siege units for the Siege Masters. Probably mulligan this next with like a Prince of Maneuver. Let's see Hubert now with these three charges left. Hmm. So he's like two leader charges next turn, I can't do it. I can also I am okay to play Thaler if I have to, but I don't like giving them thinning, especially in round one. Although it's actually better in round one versus round three. So maybe I do just play Thaler. Ooh, Professor is kind of significant. You just go for Erlen to take that away from me. Ooh. Okay, that's kind of close. Kind of too close. I am going to get six points from Hubert in a minute. So I can play this, play Thaler. And then do a leader charge for Hubert. See, that's nice. And then I can probably shuffle this away. Or maybe I just draw one of these and shuffle it. Or I could get a Siege Master. Mmm. We'll just do one of these. And shuffle this. Okay, that was good. So now we're up nine, 18 points again. They have three coins. Two tags. They're not done. Not more shady vendor. Two even tied plunder. Okay, they don't go for pulling the strings, which they would have only been able to steal too. Just go for a spender. Double blind eye. Also, they have King of Beggars. Guaranteed. Hmm. See, I can use another leader charge to draw. Another Siege Master, shuffle this back. Also shuffle back the Tritum. They're both equally unplayable and this is to the left of Sunset Wanderers. Three, four, five, six, seven. So I actually don't have room to play this in the front row, unfortunately. Ren freeze nice. This should's okay. Nothing else to click, so we'll leave it there. I'll buy a lot of points again. We have more points on this too. So we can always draw the other priestess. Again, I would have liked to use these in like a snowdrop round. Okay, going for another plunder. Take another disciple, but they're running out of space. If they have two spaces in the front row, one in the back. Do you have a spender here? But I'd just kill this. I think. But then what do I play? Use wait, is my last leader charge? We draw like an envoy. Siege Tower is decent later. I 
I'm running out of space too, I guess. I still don't have a lot of tags. I think I can still do this. points here. Alright, I think I have to pass next. Hmm. But they pass first, nice. Okay. Still have double leader charge. I have a negative point of carryover on Roach. Let's see, they probably have poisons. And more else I did so I thinned one for them. Otherwise they just have like bank and then Ziggy. Okay. Play cards like. Hmm. Probably just play Istrid this round. Maybe I can draw Snowdrop before I can click this. I'm okay with my Wanderer coming out too. So they don't have any instant removal. The Professor is one of their main damage kind of things. Although they have Junior, I guess. Pretty good fun. I think I might. Okay, they go for a poison. So he's gonna boost two units. Probably play this while I still have Estrid alive. Mm, same kind of difference. Oh, we did get Snowdrop. Like I said, I'm okay with Wanderers coming out this round. And then I'll have a perfect draw situation. They didn't even play poison this turn. Hmm. This is a good time to play Snowdrop. Ooh! Does boost Roach by one. Okay. Let's put these two back. Okay, that is unfortunate, especially for my short round kind of options. So they've done what? Eight tribute? Where's the other poison? Alright. Okay, so now as long as they don't draw a roach. Okay, nice. And we're fine to put this back. Sunset Wanderers comes out, draws a card. Snowdrop again. Okay. So now because I get perfect round three scenario. So I want Vernon. I think Vernon or Priestess. I'll have four cards in hand. Unless I play this Tritum. Which isn't really doing much. So I'm going to play Ren Free I think next. There's the junior. He's just kind of doing six damage. Probably better actually to get coins. Let's see. And free wrath is probably gonna be pretty good if I can if I can get it. Or greed. So I think in round three we want we want <laughs> Roach in hand. And then we want one priestess, because we want to keep try him in a priestess and duck. So we want Roach. Siege Tower and one of the priestesses to draw. Envy Sloth, I don't want to over thin. Pride is Pride is probably okay. Envy Hmm. 
Okay, so kindness is like a few points. I don't get cooldown again. Chastity. It's like kindness is just better. I need to play it next to an even unit because <laughs> it's forgot it's boosted. But I have two points here. Kind of three actually. This can play as an eight. And then I have an eight point leader right now. So there goes King of Beggars. So if, they don't, if I can get ahead with Trident, I probably do. I think Pride in a short round is just decent. So I'll be losing my card, but I can play Trident to trade with one of these two. I don't have last say, so they could have a more else for the, one of the Tridums. Do they have room for more else? I think they do, traditionally. It's either like more else or like sen senior. I mean, this could be cards like Collusion or Siggy or Drill. I think I can take it. It's also kind of a funny. I can also get another 8 points here, put some down to 33, and then lead 14, but I'd rather keep this for round 3. So they're definitely going to be playing units. Even if I have to use it on my own Vernon. I can easily get ahead of the coins, but let's see what two cards. Maybe it's Siggy and Drill, right? And it should be hard to pull off a Siggy in round three anyway. So they'll have four cards. That's another poison. So one of these is from... <laughs> look at the three fist decks. One of these is from Shady Vendor. They have two are from hands. They still have another complete poison. <coughs> Alright. I get ahead. Carry over. So I've just been trading my leader for some coins. Which they're already losing anyway. Alright. So. Yeah, so actually we do want to do this. We switch the priestesses. So now this one in deck has nine charges. Alright. So let's see if my points are enough. Hopefully they don't have them more else. Hemelfart's pretty decent, especially if they have... They did get the double Inquisitor in round one. <coughs> Let's see how they want to spend their coins. So we have nine charges on this right away. So... They have 11 points, so it would be all but two points, so I can try to snipe Cyrus. <coughs> I don't think I pried him. Mm. Maybe I just play this now. I don't think they kept two traffickers in hand for a double poison. So let's see. Also keep an eye on the kindness values. Okay. So if they don't click this again, I pride it. Okay, they have four coins. They have two, two tags. See, so pinging these like once. Oh, I wasn't playing priestess this turn. So they have two tags. I actually can't play Siggy this turn, so I just play this Priestess. It's already played Junior. I think they have any other way to do a bunch of damage. Although I can snipe this. I only have 9 pings right now. I think I just play this. Hmm, although, yeah, because I don't have time to play this anymore. Alright. Okay. They just go for coins here. It's, it's 
So the last card's gotta be like Siggy. They have three tags for Siggy. So it'll cost three coins. But Inclusion's not really even doing much if they play Collusion. Click this. We're not getting two soldiers, alright. So we're playing the five first. And then the six. Alright. <laughs> now we just click. See if I can kill Cyrus. We're not getting very lucky at the pings. Although killing the trafficker is pretty significant. Let's see if we can get Cyrus. Yes! Okay, beautiful. And the last charge. Alright, so they have two tags. They can still Siggy, but they need 31 points. This spends a lot of coins. Inclusion's not worth it. We still go for it, though. Let's see what's happened there. Alright. Did not even get tight cloaks? Woo! <laughs> I went by seven. That was close. That was close. I mean, some of those pings were lucky, getting the trafficker. Um, being able to pride the... Being able to pride the Sea Jackal. If they Sea Jackal like, last, they needed a spender, too. So, maybe they wouldn't have bounced it out. Have to review the footage to get the math on that. Alright, and let's go <laughs> one more. So, take out Pirate's Cove and some kind of... Two Devotion decks we've been up against, so I wonder a non-Devotion deck how that would look in this matchup. But it's not like... I mean, if I play into Igni or something. But we'll see, we'll see. This deck can be bled. But with um, Renfri and Renfri's Gang, that can help defend the bleed a lot, especially if you know what kind of matchup you're into. Against Dwarves, Mahakam Forge. I like how people are trying out different things in the ladder, in addition to me. Dwarves is kind of rough, actually. So they can play heavily into round one and two. Let's see, I'm on red coin, just decent. One master in hand. Okay, so we still need. Need a leader for Erland. Play like the siege. Probably play the siege tower first. Also, do one of these. This is all shuffle back. Mm. Although we can play this and just get rid of start getting rid of some armor. Probably the best time to do so. Okay. I'm also playing armor on my side of the board too. Pretty quick with the leader on this. Hmm, I'd probably just want to prolong the Sunset Wanderer. Oh, I want this in deck before Ireland. Okay, all these cards are boosted, which is good. I didn't want to actually, I wanted to play Erlen before I thin this out. Did they kill this? Just kind of rude. But I can just get rid of the armor on this and they have to play something to put it back. Still have two siege towers for the other siege master. Which I might consider putting in my hand. See if it's not the turns. Hmm. Let's 
go away. Okay, and then... What did I do? I think I draw the Siege Master. Or oh, that's my last leader charge for now, so maybe I get Radovid. Put back this Tritum. And then just play Radovid. Playing Renfrey's Gang still gets me ahead. It's four points is nice too. Siege Tower is playable. Vernon's not boosted. <laughs> now that I have Radovid down, I can't always... Okay, they snipe that. So we click this. Start trying to kill this. Hubert comes out. Play the Siege Tower for five. Can always shuffle back the Vernon. I play Maxi in the wrong row. Oh, okay, I do need to make sure I don't brick the Siege Master. Well, I can double eater. Yeah, I might do that. Just to make sure I send this out. And then put back Istrid, I think. And then we play this. Next one plays with a nine. <sighs> oh, Munro. Mm. We have two points here. Do have still some armor on the board? So you get two points a turn. So clicking this, playing the Siege Tower is plenty. Or I can play Renfree first. I still have a turn to play Renfree. Probably do it. Let's see, Greed. Greed works, but I don't want to play Greed this round. Wrath would probably Mm, greed's probably better. The Wrath, I can answer something, but I don't know if I can ever answer a Bruver. Pride would have been nice. I think we just go for Greed. And diligence. Charity means we don't have to play Thaler. Although, the rest of my turns, I don't need to play anything. I think we just go Chastity, though. Get the one point a turn. Play Zoltan. Okay, they get three points a turn now. So if I play, let's see, it's one point plus this is <coughs> this is six. Round two is looking short though. I don't have any carryover. So they get three points. I have seven to play, plus two more. So I have enough to get ahead, so I have to play the other card and then Sunset Wanderer comes out, which isn't worth it. So we'll just pass, I think, at this point. Keep Sunset Wanderer carry over. It's a decent opening play. So it's a pretty short round. Still have a lot of thinning to do. Let's see. Well, it's, I guess it's really just drawing cards and then Dollar, Sunset Wanderers, plus this one here. See, Envoy is a card I like to play this round. 
If I can... Vernon's not a card I want to play this round. Priestess is a card I'll shuffle. They just dry pass anyway. So I'll just play the Envoy. Let's see, I do need to draw Thaler. Let's put him on top. Okay, they still have Leader. Alright, so they have last day. Eight card round three, so not ideal. <clears throat> Estrid's kind of key here. Vernon's a key card to have in hand. Tritum. I'll put Tritum back for now. So I definitely need to draw Estrid. And then I can be able to fix my hand. So maybe open Snowdrop. We don't have any bricks yet, but Snowdrop's good with... Can get another point in Siege Master. They might have some kind of Tall Punish. I can just play this now. We do get Istrid. these back for now. So it gets boosted. Alright. So now they play Zoln's company. They're gearing up. So I'll probably play Istrid now. I could leader. No, I want to keep the lead. So let's get boosted. Seven damage isn't super easy. I mean, if they have like a Zoltan. No, these could ride for Bruber. <laughs> Jeez, this is a greedy battle. Okay, he gets six armor. They don't leader him. Where's my pride? Oh, that's not getting pride. is very unfortunate. Okay, so we'll do this now. Prolong the Wanderers. Like this, of course. Or even extending the round. Oh, with all our... Could have been good to give you charity here. I have three cards in deck. I hit Solon. I didn't want to play back row. No, I wanted Sunset to stay in hand though. Nothing else is cool down. Let's see. Mm, I could probably click Istrid now. Just put everything back. We have these two mentors. That's a lot of points. They might still have Tall Punish though. We pull ahead of Ruver before any before any big combo. I mean, this is just a ton of points, but I think after Sunset Wanderer. Now I still want to get more points though. I think it's worth it. Well, I could try to get rid of all this armor, which is just kind of huge. Okay. Being able to keep the sunset in hand is really significant. So we can just cycle these out. It's fine. Hmm. Just keep, keep it going. Keep it going. They can kill this, yeah. My engine. We got two sevens here. It would have been nice to get a. Oh, and there's the heat wave. Okay, the heat wave does suck. I wasn't sure they had something like that. Alright. Ooh. Okay, so you have to play both of these from hand. This isn't ideal. Oh. Play this next. Okay. 
Hit a Berserker, play a back row, I mean, Brewer's crazy. Alright, but they have less armor on the board. They're down 40 points, play the infantry. Wanderers comes out, hopefully he doesn't draw the other one. It doesn't, so I can just play this. I missed them on both of those, too. Alright, I mean, they can leader this, so it doesn't really matter. I probably actually just play Vernon now. Try to get rid of some of this armor. That's pretty good. It's a 15. Still leave it. My one extra point. They do have some points still. Uh, I think I lose though. I think it's just, you know, Bruver in a long round. If I had Pride, it would have been so different. Although they would have probably played leader early if I had Pride. For volunteers. Okay, I mean, I still have some points. Oh, they don't even boost Brewer because they only need one more turn anyway. Alright. Okay. <laughs> Gotta get one more point. Alright. Alright, we even missed Brewer the last time, but I mean, could have been good to play this earlier. To get rid of some of that armor. That might have been my win con at this stage. Alright, well, GG. <laughs> that was fun. Long round three against dwarves. Yeah, there they go. They got the win. Yeah. Yeah, I probably should have tried to go for the combo earlier, especially since I wasn't getting more points in my priestesses. I lost by 15, so even greeting it to get an extra, like, I think it would have been another, like, 4 points. Yeah, something like another 4 points. I did not play 40 artifact cards. That one's bugged. Um, it wouldn't have been enough, so it was probably just my win con to try to remove, <coughs> remove the armor on their dwarves earlier on, especially they don't really have ways to rearmor. They had like one minor and then the the leader charge from the Hakam Forge ability. So I guess if I did that earlier on when I had like the sevens meant for it, that could have been the way to go. It wasn't too far off, but I haven't really fought a lot of dwarves. I haven't fought this matchup a lot of times, I should say. So I wasn't sure how much the greeting could play off. And it, it was closer than, you know. You might expect against long round Brewer, which is one of the, a really good long round in, in Gwent these days. Um, but you see, Priestesses, I think it's pretty good. I like this Renfrey version. Renfrey offers some flexibility to the deck. I couldn't fit Rune for Age in, unfortunately, so you don't have those assurances. But um, you do kind of want a leader fairly early because you can just like shuffle away some Priestesses to get that value or get some cards that you want to play to like win or push earlier rounds like I did in um, the games I played today. Um, and yeah, you get a thin to zero, so you get Erlen played for like 20, well, 18 points each time. It also inspires the priestesses guaranteed, which is, you know, a requirement they have now. Um, and yeah, so that's kind of the, the, the deck. That's the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please like the video if you did. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.